My name is Heather Correa. I was born right here in Hollywood. January 14th, 1990. I very vividly remember thinking, I'm gonna get married at 22, and at 24 I'm gonna have my first kid, and at 26 I'm gonna have my second kid. And like, <laughs> that seems so ridiculous to me now. Like, I think by 30 I just imagined that I'd have this big, huge family, and I'd have, you know, my dream career, which as a little kid I don't even remember what that was, but just that everything would be figured out. And it's so far from that. <laughs> like, I still don't necessarily know my dream career. Don't own a home, something I think growing up that was, my parents owned a home, so that was just something you had at that age. You know, as a kid, I said, you know, I hated LA. I hated living here, all I knew was the valley. And as I've grown up and become an adult, I've been able to appreciate it and find, you know, it's beauty. The whole, I think, like American dream and owning a home and having, a, you know, the family of four, for me, that's totally unrealistic and like not necessarily something I see in my, you know, book of life. I don't think that we could do that living in LA. I'd like to think that it's possible to own a home and maybe one day have a family, but to know that we'd have to uproot our lives and move somewhere else to do so. I think Hollywood's becoming much more like a New York, and with all the construction going on, I mean, from our rooftop, you can see minimum six different construction sites. They're all these very luxury condos or, you know, townhomes or high rises, and that's not the Hollywood that you see in like movies, old movies. I've always been like a go, go, go person, and like I have a hard time like settling down. And so I think that's what I like about Spin. It is like all out, full effort for an hour. I think at the end of the day, I want my students to walk out feeling like they accomplished something and like hopefully more energized. I think in this day and age, we all get a little bit too into social media and our cell phones and we forget to look around and talk to people, especially on Instagram. We think everybody's life is perfect. And it's perfectly okay to admit you're not okay. David is super silly. I admire his compassion. I always say he's the nice one between the two of us. <laughs> um, he is very thoughtful. Um, I think always puts other people first, but I think we balance each other out that way. He's everything I'm not. It's uh, made us a great team. I always wanted to be a wife. Like I always wanted to share my love and care for somebody and have a partner, never have to worry about who my plus one was gonna be. I like the security of it and the safety. That's been everything I could have ever wanted. And I have this one person that I can share my entire life with and all my experiences with and it's been wonderful. And you know, yes, marriage is hard and anybody telling you different is a liar, but it's, uh, it's been really great. But I think the one thing I always thought 30 would be like would be secure and a feeling of comfort. And while I still feel like I'm figuring out what I'm you know, meant to do with my life, I do feel like there is a sense of security and like I'm content and happy and like don't feel like I did in my 20s where you know, you're trying to impress people or be something you're not. Like this is me and I'm cool with that. <laughs>